Hello folks, how you doing? This is Miguel from the Embargo Man channel and today, <laughs> freaking happy St. Patrick's Day everybody well, we did this video on St. Patrick's Day, right? It is my first video to do a book review, right? And the, by the time I am, believe me, by the time I, I have turned 40, I'm like, on my birthday I got a um, gift card from uh, for twenty five dollars from a friend of mine, right? He gave me that gift card from Amazon. So I look in through Amazon, and I am so proud. And this is the first video that is not just beyond a book review, right? I'm doing this because I just noticed it back then. I was back back then. I, w I, w I was seeing like having like you know from hot and for this YouTuber. I mean, I didn't even know. And I mean, I have I have even 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 know that much because yeah, we're just watching your YouTube videos and you know, talking about random stuff about you know tech stuff and this and that and whatever you know. And then after that, I have began to read something on Entertainment Weekly, even though it's not it's not reading in this book that I bought. But so I have fin finished reading this book, and I freaking rec I, I definitely recommend you all that you might read. And I'm I'm just saying to this author, thank you. For changing my mind about things I know this I have been like such a foolish heart in my life and I know who I'm talking to yes I saw your videos I'm subscribed to your sister's channel and most likely I was so thankful for all that I knew everything about my mind been supportive and you know I, I don't want to talk about nothing else, but you that you are watching, I mean, before before I get all into this, and before I say to this person that I wrote to, thank you, you have opened up my mind. I have been such foolish and think all these dirty thoughts and stuff thank you for opening up my mind thank God for entertainment weekly that I read a story that I remember that you know, that I passed in the video that open up people's minds and change everything I mean I haven't felt like a crutch from Folks, I haven't had felt a crush from a YouTuber since I read Entertainment Weekly and fell more in love because I read this book. And I recommend you folks that, I mean, yes, I'm talking about this thing, right? This is Justine Azaric. I Justine, an analog memoir. And I noticed that I have read every page since February. Since I received this book in February 1st. And it seems that the life of this woman is very interesting. And you must just fall in love with her life. And you know, and then and then what it, what it is is like you know, every single page you could read, I just recommend this read, alright? I, I recommend it, right? So, I might say this for a matter of fact. I might say this is for for the audience, even though for the fans of her, I say keep up the good work. Keep still supporting her in in all causes, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. You know, this is just the life of this beautiful woman, and. Uh, I might just say, um, 
I really didn't think I just seen so much that when I read this book and I receive it, my foolish mind has opened up to this kind of to a heart of kindness. And then I definitely one day I would love to meet you. And I know that I wanted to say this because I remember reading this at first you were like raised <laughs> in a barn, right? Uh, you know, raising chickens and picking up ch chicken poop and whatever. And then, and then you have to went to a, a computer. Uh, uh, I mean, your first computer on Vicky gave you the. I mean, the. I, I remember right here. Okay, I got it. They're so cute, Justine. I love you. That you actually oh actually did something about um oh oh yeah you love animals right and then you love pigs i mean pigs are one of the oink they go oink oink right yeah and then and and then you you were getting into technology and whatever then you like your aunt vicky give you the first generation macbook it says it it says it's here you you were Raised <laughs> with, the, with, with your friends in the computer room, uh, forming the thirteen thirty seven group. I mean, this thirteen thirty seven crew you get it from, yeah, hackers. Out of the first, out of one of the Angelina uh, Jolie's first movie that she was in. Yeah, it was it was, it was great that, that you been through. You met this guy. You, you said you want for for Bob Evans and. Look at you now. You were. I have been in the in the, in the YouTube business almost the same time as you, but I have never stood up like you did. You know. I I mean, there's so much to read about you, and yeah, and 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 then what I read about that you were with Des and your first YouTube videos and stuff, right? You doing the oatmeal and yeah. And I see when you get when you get hit by an apple, boom! I was lately I was watching one of your old old YouTube videos lately, and then it, I, I am seeing that I have learned a lot from you, and then you are such an amazing person that I would love to meet, and and then right there is written, you know, it's a whole different aspects you were and. Pittsburgh Technical Institute and move on and you move and, and stuff the the most likely the one part that I have read that you have bought an Apple my uh, an Apple Mac G4 <laughs> with your money instead of a car I think it's, this is kind of ridiculous I don't even have enough you know I was working at a pizza place for a while you know I was working here and there and like this is what it is like all I bought is a my first computer was a PC custom built you know I wanted a Sony bio and then you have one of your friends uh, I mean right or Evans or uh, Sony bio computers right because I said when you work right there it said right there and I can remember that you have packed my lunch in there and then you have the you use ICQ messenger my favorite messenger of choice back then was a Yahoo messenger you did the talent, the Yahoo talent show. You been, you have been like in TV. I've seen you see in some old TV commercials, right? I mean, you're still beautiful, Justine. No doubt about that. And then, wh what I like about it is you're uh, just, you're just a very caring person. You're very caring. I mean, that's it. And that's what. And then after that, you just move into LA with all that it. And tell me about this Dr. Rolex guy. I may just call him Dr. Dr. Timex or Mr. Timex because I know you worth more to people because you are a very worthy person. You're not worthy. You're a very worthy person because I know that after reading this and after I read your stories, I just, you know, tell you what I feel because I cannot say anything 
that I would say this and let me tell you all about this <laughs> Cody he has some kind of is he I remember that I'm not just it but you're so kind and I see what you did it's just it's almost maybe kind of of gladness of how sweet you are to other people that are different I mean yeah when you were and then when you read when you were moving to LA you uh, you were like like uh, like a couple, a couple of people were smoking weed right and then they said that like you you never did that but you know the and then there's various problems when you move to LA to California, right? And then uh, and then they heard I heard of something about uh, I read something about they stole your mom's phone. I can remember that that, that when they stole I remember I, I got I, um, they stole my phone back in the day, but you know that's like uh, that's like something that yeah very interesting story. The last thing that I have read that. You had something doing with the iPhone 6. I think you were in a plane. Because I see in the picture of the, the last thing. When I finish reading your book. It is like. Some, it is like so amazing about your life that. I mean. You have done what you have done. You just. Put up to people. And keep in touch. I am so in touch. And then. Where are you coming from? Easily, I was like saying, I, one of these days I was playing the lottery, right? And I had, I have ever, and I have never thought about your hometown because there's so many things in my mind. Glad that I that I thought about your your hometown because I mean, Justine, I was like going through that you know hope that I won the lottery because I made the lottery ticket and you know and I have because I know I I know that uh, like I, I am basically born in New Jersey I have been living in Miami Florida for a long time I mean I have been living in Miami Florida because more about me but uh, but yes since the 1980s. 1985 that is you know and then that's what then and then that's what I get to like in the Miami Dolphins football team and then like hey and then and, and no matter if I'm, I might be a Dolphin fan but it's kind of weird I like the Giants because they let the Patriots not to break the Miami Dolphins perfect season record even though New Jersey have no football team but hey that's what I like the Giants. Then I have the third option, like I'm getting to the Steelers, <laughs> and then that's it. I'm getting to the Steelers. Um, yeah, and there and there's the idea if the if the New York, I I like the Marlins too, right? But like the main thing because I'm a Jersey boy or something like. Technically, I was born in New Jersey. The Yankees, right? If the Yankees didn't doesn't make it to the World Series or the Marlins didn't make it to the World Series I was getting into the Pirates into the Pirates team lately even though I never watched the games but yeah I wish yeah if, I wish there's no Marlins and there's no and, and, and the Yankees didn't make it to the World Series I might just better see the Pirates beating the, the Boston Red Sox to win the World Series eh? most likely that and the thing is that with this with this fascination of your hometown now I was just saying look I'm I'm going to play the lottery and I'm going to start a basketball team the only thing come up to my mind whatever come up to my mind it is a, a fictional character from a video game I was thinking oh Mortal Kombat and now I was thinking hmm if Scorpion, I was thinking Scorpion, and I was thinking Team Scorpions, and then why did and why did I have thought about the Scorpions name for a basketball team? Because it suits it suits so so much well, 
you have the ninja named Scorpion who wears the colors perfect of your hometown, Justine. And then I'm just thinking, yeah, what, what's next? Scotty to Scorpion? Like, like, uh, like the Hornets got their mascot, but yeah, Scotty's a Scorpion. And then I was thinking, yeah, this Scorpion's name, unfortunately, never have won, never won, never have won the lottery ticket. I never won the lottery. That's it. I never won the lottery, and then that's this like my mom was calling me. I never won the lottery. I never won the lottery, and I just you know say you know what. Better, better luck next time. Better luck next time. Why? Because one thing I was saying, yes, yeah, so one day I'm just saying, yeah, I want to start the Scorpions basketball team. That's it. <laughs> this is what the NBA could see, right? Very potential. <laughs> Forget the 76ers. <laughs> I'm going to create the Scorpions basketball team. And whatever, and what's so funny about this, and I could imagine what the Scorpions basketball team's uniforms would be. They're gonna freaking represent. They're gonna represent a company that makes condiments, mostly known for making ketchup <laughs> in their jerseys. Right? And that's that's one thing. Is that's my point of view. Other than that, like I read that. It, that you that you have think at the end about your town and then this is in English and then keywords is your publisher and and what it is and what it is then I have to eat lunch eat but you know whatever it is is that I might say let me tell you the fun facts about me and whatever it is brought it to my mind with this stuff. Okay. Even thanks for having new thoughts on my mind. I mean, this thoughts of, these new thoughts on my mind are really great, good ideas. Okay. More of me, Justine. I might just tell you about me. I was born in New Jersey. Five years before you were born. Five years before you were born, right? I have an older sister. And and after these three my first three years we went to we went to Colombia. I know this is a fun fact why because Colombia is one of the homes we have real Coffee culture. We have. We. We'll, this country is known for its coffee, even though the bad rap is. I like put it in Hollywood. I'm. I'm just saying. This is more like uh, I feel at the same way. Like an Italian person watching movies based on the mafia. <laughs> to us, it's the drug dealers, and to and then this is just the stereotypical. But no, the only thing I, I could tell you. I can tell you this about is that I was raised even though the, the only difference with you is that my parents split I am glad you have a beautiful family and your parents are stick together like peas and carrots and that's what we want in a society the, no matter the differences in our lives and then <laughs> that's the reason I'm just saying all right I definitely like you. That's the crush that I got, you know. You have done so much. You help this this Lizzie to stand up and not to be and help her to write the documentary. Write the, I see the documentary right there. Yeah, but you're always up to this thing. And yeah, I wanted to get I'm doing it in my in, in my phone. I have a Sony XZ1 phone. You know, and then I'm, uh, and then I'm. This is what it did because it started with a Kodak Easy Share camera, right? Yes, I did. No, actually, I started with a cheesy with a cam with a with a webcam. It takes cheesy video, right? But that's how it started. But you know, 
other than that, all the fun and, and everything like that. This is like, it is. Like, my life seems so interesting that I wasn't be able, I have, have lower learning to, to speak. Even speak in Spanish, right? Because we come from a Spanish-speaking uh, culture, Spanish-speaking country, right? And then later on, I get will, maybe like, for, I, I don't remember, five or something like that, years old or something. That's where I get improved in my speech. And now I talk like like nothing, you know, like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and, and this is why... I'm saying that I'm. This is why I did my book review, and there's more through it because, Justine, I'm really to get to know you, and then this is one thing I have been, have been having a bunch of rejections. I have no girlfriends. I'm not even. I'm not even married. So, most likely, this is like it is with Facebook and all this new. First thing of it is, I'm a face party and. And the high and five five and all these social media areas have been there. For, even MySpace, I have an account on MySpace before, and like you had an account on MySpace, yeah. And college hookups or campus hookups, whatever. What I can't in my head, yeah. You have another one you did with that when when you read when I read in there. Sometimes couldn't remember what I read, but yes, but. Everything else seems so fascinating, right? I mean, I, I I I just have thoughts in my mind that there are some things that I, that I could agree. I agree that that we that we are what you are, like you said. You gotta be kind. I mean, I agree with that. I agree with you, Justine, that we have to be kind with each other, right? And and that's what I was thinking. This is a, this is like my time spending you know, watching some YouTube videos, watching some your YouTube videos and everybody else's YouTube videos, because now after being subscribed to you for a while, I mean, I have face friends, friends on Facebook, and I know I just like somebody or something like that, you know. I mean, one of these things is just going to another country. I think I'm always thinking of going to Japan and try to learn Japanese, and and then after that, that's before before I read your book and and everything. You changed my mind, and yeah, and 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 then and then talking about video games. I know you were talking about that you get Nintendo snacks from. From meats that your that that your dad went hunting, right? So yeah, I I mean, you're playing Super Mario, and then, and then I I remember that I remember one thing that that was that's part of me. Now now this part is talking part of me, right? When I was remembering, I was trading in. I remember my first Mario Kart game was in the Super NES. I had the I. Had the Super Nintendo, and then, uh, but what would happen is that, oh, the try to buy a Super Nintendo, give away some games. The, my my main concern and my fault is giving the first Mario Kart game. <laughs> it was like, okay, this is American football and a uh, Madden night, Madden ninety five. I still had the Madden, but I gave away that. Mario Kart game, and I never mentioned that one day we could play each other and see how good you you are. At, I mean, you are into Call of Duty. Oh, same same thing. You are into Call of Duty, right? With my step back on, then you into oh, I'm gonna get into Call of Duty. They have it on, on PC, or you got an Xbox, right? <laughs> But, but hey, but the Mario Kart thing, I might just say, let's get out of the flea market, sell it, have it in the flea market. But one main thing that I, that I main concern is, Justine, I want to meet you one day. And you have to know interesting where my parents from. 
when you go to Colombia one day, ever since, I mean, you won't, I, I believe that you are going to get into this cult, uh, this culture because we're into only drinking coffee and, the, you know, you're going to get into this coffee culture, right? Because we are known to make one of the, one of the countries that make the best coffee. And then there's like Juan Valdez and stuff. You, you're going to say, you know, you're going to keep on add on your iPhone Duolingo and and learn Spanish, right? <laughs> and that's what, and, and then once you get into it, I believe you're going to love my family's country. And you will say, yeah, I want to go there. I wanna, because there's places that I might go. I might think I might go and I might see my dad for the summer. One of these days, I might see my dad for the summer, and and the official language over there is Spanish, right? And then maybe take places. I might think of making a video in, in, in a small town where my dad lives, forty miles from Bogota. It's called Fusa, Fusa Gasuga, and then the Kinini areas. A great place to go camping and stuff. You know, you like hiking and stuff like. Hey, I might just take a video out of my Nikon Coolpix S33. My Nikon Coolpix S33. Even though it, it, I has, it is to replace the Kodak EC Share camera that I used to have, but um, but this one takes 1080p. The only thing, only camera I was looking for, even on reach it, is a, a Sony Cyber that you could flip instead of using my phone for a better quality audio. I mean, all the scenes in this in the Embargo Man channel I have random MIG and I have never left because of random Yoko, another Japanese vlogger, <laughs> once in the, the like have interest but not not like she went too freaking political then all of a sudden that after I have read your book I mean the day that you come in there and uh, read this I mean there's a publisher called Black Sheep uh, Publishing in Colombia they could yes they might just do this book in Spanish Black Sheep is, is a very is one of the most known Publishers in Colombia, yeah, that black black cheap publishing this is, is called in Colombia, and then what you what you got do is to say to go to black cheap, black cheap will just have the rights or your permissions to write this book in Spanish, and and that's it, and you're set to go. I mean, this is. Oh yeah, you know this is it for this video, and they're calling me to eat and stuff. And uh, see you, Justine. I could see you in the next video. Thanks for the St. Patrick's Day shakes video. It's very lovely. I oh I always love in your comments and I see you next. See you in the next video, but I have something more, more stuff to say for, I mean, to everybody, especially Justine, I would say this, even though <laughs> my stepdad is screaming me and he, go, go, eat, go, eat, like that, all right? And I would say, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm thinking, I support people that do something recreational i believe that i support people that sports shooters yeah sports shooting that like i seen them people win gold medals in, in shooting sports and i do believe there the like 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 in anything you have to put safety precautions wearing a seat belt before you get in the car and we roll you know or things like that of that nature Everything is concerned to be safety because I believe and after all I mean uh, I, I I mean a baseball bat or a club could people who used to whack others in the head and I mean anything to do with concern of safety is that's what I support. I support that. 
but I don't want to say that I agree with this thing you for opening my mind in this book. You thought you thought this foolish heart to be very kind. Thank you, Justine, and thank you, everybody else. Support my YouTube channel, and please tweet me back. I'm in Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I'm Miguel. Go into as Universal Man underscore not, do that because that was my thing in in Yahoo chat or something like that. Yeah, in Yahoo what was known like that in Yahoo chat, right? Like that's Yahoo chat is my was my messenger of choice back in the day, but. It, after all, people, take care, goodbye, happy St. Patrick's Day, or whatever, or, or have a nice day, enjoy, and probably in the next week, I need to freaking find that, I need to find that kettle corn, uh, I mean, kettle corn uh, Oreo. M and M's to start finding some kettle corn flavor M and M's, you know. Goodbye.